back in my jammies again. Nighttime. Just got out of the shower, washed my hair. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my little jar. This is the little jar today I will. Daily mindfulness. And this was the little leaf I pulled today. And this is a really good one because we should do this every day. And it says, list 10 things I am grateful for. So we all have things to be grateful for. I know some of us have more than others, but it all depends on how you look at life. You know, you can have the poorest person and they're always grateful and you can have wealthy people that have everything they've ever wanted and they're not really grateful for anything. So which would you rather be? Anyway, <clears throat> the 10 things I'm grateful for. Number one on my list and always, always, always will be number one on my list is my family. I have three wonderful kids. I have five wonderful grandkids. My mom is still living. She's 90. I have two ex-husbands who are part of the family too. And everybody gets along. Even the exes and the ex's wife. In fact, I call her my wife-in-law. And ex number two, who is Tom, um, we're actually together again. We were apart for a couple years and then we got back together, but um, not as husband and wife. We're significant others, let's put it that way. So anyway, I'm very grateful for my family. And in that, I also want to include my four-legged kids because um, they're great and they all get along too. So I've really been blessed with people in my family that are, are just wonderful people. So that's number one. Number two, I'm thankful and grateful for my education. And I was a single mom for a lot of years. In fact, over 20, I was a single mother. And my children mostly lived with me. And I took advantage of all the Pell Grants and scholarships and whatever else was available to me as a single mother because I had a very low income. And with three children, they were also eligible for all these things. So we took full advantage of that. This really is a wonderful country to live in. Anybody that wants an education, if you really want it, there's a way you can get it. You just have to work hard. You're not going to get it for, for just sitting around and doing nothing. You have to get the good grades. You have to put the work in and take it seriously. So if you're a single mom and you have children, uh, consider bettering your state in life by getting a good education. So that's one thing I'm very grateful for. And I'm grateful that I took advantage of it. Number three, my ability to solve problems. Um, my life has not been problem free. Most of us don't have a problem free life. Um, so, but you can't just sit back and wallow in your misery either. So there are so many resources out there for help. You can, um, you can go online, there's things you can look. You have to do some research. There are self-help books. There are people that are willing to help you that you can talk to. So if you have a problem, don't just give it a go and say, oh, I can't do it, I failed. Just keep going, keep looking for a solution to, to your problem 
And if you have to do a hundred different solutions, then that's what you need to do. Eventually, you will find an answer to your problem. If, if you are a spiritual person, you could pray on it. Um, sometimes if you think about these things and maybe pray on them before you go to sleep, it's amazing how many times an answer will come to you. It may not be in a, in a flash of insight, but um, things happen, the universe provides things for you to solve your problem. Um, if you're a Christian, look in your Bible. A lot of times people will just open a verse and it'll speak to them. So don't just give in to your problems. Try and solve them. So that's, uh, let's see. Number four, I'm very grateful and thank you, thankful for the parents that I had and still have. Um, my parents immigrated from Germany back in 1954. I was four years old. They came here with nothing. My mother didn't speak English. Um, my father was a tool and die maker and he found a good job. He did not have a job when he came here. My mother came here with four oranges and you know, when customs asked her what's with the oranges, the only word she could say was baby. The oranges were for me. And um, they just worked really, really hard. And um, it's emotional for me. Sorry about that. I get a little emotional about certain things. Anyway, they always gave me what I needed. I, I was an only child, but I wasn't a spoiled only child. My parents were very frugal. Um, they worked their way up to what they had, and I always had what I needed. I, I never um, fell short on what I needed. I didn't have a million toys and a million clothes, and like a lot of people think about only children. Um, my mother worked, my father worked, my mother cooked meals every single day. Um, she made sure I had a hot lunch. She would fix a lunch and put it in a big thermos bottle to make sure I had good food. So I had wonderful, wonderful parents. And if you didn't have wonderful parents, and I know there's a lot of people that really their parents are just, they can't even take care of themselves, let alone children. But the best thing to do with that is put it in the rear view mirror. And that's one of the things that I do when I have something that really bothers me. I, I picture in my mind that I'm driving in a car and I picture whatever my problem is in the rear view mirror and I drive away from it and, and it just fades away the further I drive. And for me, that, that works. It's, it's a really good technique. I don't know where I came up with that, but it really works. Put it in the rear view mirror and be a good parent to yourself. You don't have to be in that little box that a bad parent stuck you in. You know, you're not a bad person or you're, you, you can do things. I had a, a, an elderly woman when I was a hairdresser and when I was in, uh, in school, she would come to this school and I would do her hair. And um, she always said, you can do things. And then she would tell my children, you can do things. And, you know, and, and she was right, you can do things. You don't have to stay in a box that somebody else puts you in. You can do things. You're a strong person and you're able to take care of yourself. So be your own good parent. Be that parent the way you picture them. Be that parent to yourself. All right, let's see. Number five, 
Number five is my health. I'm grateful for my health. I'm not, you know, 100%, but there are many things that I could have worse. I mean, I have arthritis. I have fibromyalgia. The two things together are not pleasant. I have chronic pain from that. Some days are okay, and some days are, I'm pretty stiff, you know, but I kind of have to go with it. I have to pace myself. I have to, um, you know, if I'm, if I have a really bad day, then I have to take it easy. And then the next day, if I'm better, then I can do the things that I want to do. Um, it's a little frustrating because I used to be extremely strong and, and I had a lot of energy, which I don't have anymore, but I get by and I'm still thankful for the good health that I do have because there are so many people that just don't have the privilege of growing older or they're really battling terrible diseases. So as long as I have the health I have, I'm going to be grateful for it. Okay, number six, I'm grateful and thankful for the jobs I had. And that kind of reverts back to gratitude number two, which provides, which talks about education. So after the education, I was really thankful for the jobs that I got. And uh, I, I was able to provide for myself and my family and make a very good living doing that and put enough money away so that I could buy what we needed. My children always had good food. They always had what they needed. Um, again, they were not spoiled kids, but they always had what they needed. And, you know, nowadays you don't have to spoil your kids by you know, showering them constantly with gifts. Uh, sometimes having them work for some of the things they want teaches them to be better people. It teaches them to appreciate what they have because if you're always given something, you really sometimes don't appreciate it as much as something that you've worked for. So that was number six. Uh, number seven, I'm grateful that I have everything I need. I have clothes on my back. I have food in my stomach. I have shelter. I'm not out in the cold. Um, do I have everything that I want? I could think of some things that I want that I don't have, but it's okay. I, I'm perfectly fine without it. So as long as my needs are met, I'm, I'm good. So um, that's number seven. Number eight, I'm thankful and grateful for the people in my life. My friends, I have good friends. I don't have a lot of friends. I have enough friends, but the friends that I do have, I'm, I'm very grateful for because um, they've just been with me for years and years and years. And that means more than superficial friendships to me, although those are nice too. But I really am grateful for my long-term friends that I've had in my life for actually most of my life. So, and I'm grateful for my new YouTube friends. I, I love interacting with my YouTube friends, and I've made some really good friends here on YouTube. So I'm grateful for you as well. Number nine, I'm grateful for a peaceful and serene life. Now, a lot of that has to do with my being retired now, and my children are grown. I don't have to worry about a lot of things that a lot of younger people have to worry about, you know, feeding your family, going to work, all those things. 
Um, I've been there, done that. And now that um, this phase of my life has started, I'm really grateful that uh, I've, I have a new chapter in my life now and I am enjoying it and I'm making it as peaceful and serene as I can. So I'm grateful for that. And number 10, and I think this is a big one. I'm grateful for every new day that I wake up to and it can be a new adventure and you can do great things with every single day that you have. Every day is the opportunity to reinvent your life, to reinvent yourself. You don't have to continue what you were doing yesterday. You can turn a whole new page on your life. And that is a big blessing. I know a lot of us think we're stuck, that, uh, but you're not stuck. You know, sometimes getting out of it, whatever the issue is that you're not happy with, you have to take baby steps to get somewhere else. But every day, do a few things to get to where you want to go. So that's all I have for you today. So can you list 10 things that you're grateful for? Um, anybody who wants to join this, we can make it a collab. Let me know in the comments below if you have any interest in joining in. Um, I'd be happy to uh, do a shout out to your channel. So just let me know uh, or just post a video up on, on your channel and let me know that you'd like to uh, do this collab or leave me a comment below and uh, tell me what you're grateful for some of the things in your life that you're grateful for. All right, my friends, I don't have anything else this evening. Um, I just wanted to say I love you guys and I do wish you abundant blessings and be grateful, have some fun, go have some fun. Be grateful that you're able to have fun. That, that's a good one. And um, that's all I have. So I will see you next time.